Welcome back, everybody. It's been a while. Uh, took a little time off. Quarantine was getting to me. But we're back now. And we've got a new series here to kick it off called Reignition. And I had this thought uh, during my time off that it's strange times we're living in, to be sure. And I'm feeling kind of down, being stuck inside, not having anywhere to play, not being able to work with people in person. And I'm sure a lot of other people are too. But then I look back at my career thus far, and there have been a lot of times of kind of breaking things to recreate them. And the toughest part about getting back into it is taking that first step of getting your clarinet out of the case, sitting down, and actually practicing. And so I've developed a number of techniques over the years, uh, different ways of looking at things to get myself to take that first step and get back into it. And so this series is geared towards showing you those and going through different things and giving you different perspectives on how to look at things for at once you get going again, checking it out. So we're going to start off with a long tone exercise that uses multiphonics and we're using kind of a very simple multiphonic here. Um, people, a lot of people call them split pitches. But basically all we're doing is we're playing a fundamental in the first register and trying to bring in that harmonic above it as if you were adding the register key. But we're going to play them together. And this is not the video to tell you how to do that and all the things you do need to do. There are better, more informative resources uh, that are out there, and I will link one of my favorites, one of my friends. Uh, I'll link his resources in the description so that you can go and if you need more, you can check it out. But we're just, we're just here to kind of take it and use this as a different way of looking at your long tones. So to give you a demonstration of what we're doing, <laughs> That was not so well controlled. But your goal should be to be able to have enough control that you can bring it in when you want and phase it back out and not have it pop around and be uncontrolled. So let's try it. Let's try it again. We'll go up half step. We start on D flat, we'll go to B natural. <laughs> place to start with this is in the middle. Obviously once you get a little more comfortable with it you can start at the bottom and go up chromatically you start at the top. Um, but the middle is the easiest place for me to start this and it's the easiest place to get the upper partial in tune. And so once you get it once you get a feel for it that should be your goal trying to get that upper note in tune. Because uh, I notice when a lot of people jump into a piece that has multiphonics. Um, they kind of just do their best to get the pitches that are there, but a lot of effort is spent on achieving the multiphonic, not making sure it's really well in tune or um, all the 
pitches are e even in volume, if that's what you want, if that's what you need. Um, and doing something like this gives you a little bit more control, lets you figure out what you need to do when something like that pops up. So we'll go through, we'll go through a few just to give you another example, something to listen to, and then we'll leave you to try it on your own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 